Well, here we are again. We've finished our little swimming adventure. Hopefully, while we're driving off to the uh, traders, this weather will turn. Wow. This is the most terrifying rainstorm I've seen yet in Scum. Very, very impressive. But while it's very impressive, of course you're feeling chilly, you've got no clothes on. Let's get down to the base, we'll get in the warm and we'll put some clobber on you. I've entered the outpost zone. Oops. So today's mission is to sell off all of the uh, guff that I've discovered over the last few adventures. And we're going to buy some fishing gear. Can I go and sit there in the dry? Isn't that weird? Oh, this is an airfield. I'm looking forward to them reinstating planes. Very muchly. Because I've never seen them. <gasps> because I'm too much of a noob. So I'm guessing you instated them. Were they like really buggy? That's why they took them out. Where do I want to go first? I suppose the bank wouldn't hurt, right? Let's get out and put some clothes on. I think I've got any... Oh. That's a lie then, I have. I've got 30 of them. 76239s. If that's superior stopping power... What? 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 <laughs> okay. <laughs> Ain't got any left now. Anyway, um, what am I doing? Let's go and sell this stuff, shall we? Where's the... Uh, barbershop Armoury. Come on, Armoury. Got stuff to sell you. Look, he's puffed out. Just from running around with all this stuff. All right, matey. Oh. What? Where are you? Why can't I hear a zombie? What's going on? What's up? Uh! If you're trying to rob the police, I guarantee you I'm that alarmed. That was weird. I'm not. I want to sell you some that stuff, mate. Registered. Yeah. <laughs> Kidding. It Nobody is. Nobody cares. Really is. You can have that. You can have that. And you can have that. I just don't like it. I think I might like that because it's got nice wood bits, but I'm... Ooh, I'll get a lot for the AK-15, a lot for the AKM. You can have that, 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 and that. Oh, you can't have that. But you can also have that, 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 and that. How about all that? Take it. Oh, and you can have that, that, and that. They're not worth very much money, those, but they're pretty neat. Look at that. Ten thousand. Ten thousand dollars. Um, Guns come unloaded. Mm, yeah. Can't be reasons. I obviously. Need, yeah, okay. All right, well, thanks. It was nice talking to you, mate. I'm just going to have a look, little look at... Ooh, what's this you got hanging here, I'm mate? Trying to get shot. Yeah, mate, sometimes. I don't think you're going to do anything, though, because you're just all talking, no trousers. I want to find out what guns I want to buy. 
Is that the Asvel? No, but it's cool. What is that? Okay, let's play What's the Sexiest Gun Competition. I'm going to go with this thing, because look, it's wood. It's got a little bit of teak with fine patina. I must admit, I'm a little bit of a fanboy of the wood and metal combo. Um, oh, they all look a bit scary, don't they? I think if I enter the world, I wouldn't go for the M16 military thing. I think that's your long distance snipe. Got no idea what that gun is, but I want it. Um, I think my everyday run around gun. They're a bit too machine gunny. Shotguns would be handy. Uh, I think I'd probably go for this one here. Is that an Asval? It looks a bit Asvalish. I think that's the one that I was running around with before. Didn't have terrific stopping power, but it was good. Um, it was versatile. And then obviously at these handguns, it's going to have to be one of the wooden handled 1911s. There's really not much other choice. You can't have the little gay ones that they used to use in the 1980s cop shows. All the big dirty hairy monsters. I've never fired one of those. Not in real life, nor in the game. At least the big Desert Eagle monster bruises. No, they, I'm just I'm a bit of a, a fanboy when it comes to the wooden grips, I must admit. Oh, wait, though. What are these beauties? Yeah, that one gets... Is that the same as that one over there? That's just got a big... It is, isn't it? Are you trying to get shot? It's just got some big suppressor thing on the end. I can hear... some kind of zombie mumble going on down here. Ooh, I have yet to see one of these helmets with the night light integrated on it. That's new for me anyway. I found all these other helmets. I went for a stage of wearing these all the time until I decided that I just liked my pirate hat more. Wow, what a fine stash of stuff you have in your little shop, sir. I salute you. If I knew how to salute you. <gasps> Pew! That's hardly called all guns blazing. It's like one of the gayest dance moves I've seen for a while. Mind you, it looked good with the uh, bulletproof top on and a pair of slightly dodgy swimming trunks. It's all right, you can stop now, Mum. I think he's got the message. Let's get out of here before he takes you down to the local dance club that's full of men dressed like extras out of the YMCA. Young man. All right, banky, banky, banky man. Oh, where are you? Is this a feature of this latest fix pack that the men don't appear straight away? Or is it that it's something to do with my server settings? Come on, you're going to suddenly appear. Welcome uh, to the there place you are. The uh, you're welcome. I welcome you too. I would select my card. Five free renewals. Yeah, my pin will be zero, zero. Well, then there's my card, zero, zero. And I would like to deposit. Okay, so if I get killed and I lose my bank card, I lose my money. Is that how it works? going on don't care enough Pleasure as always. yeah 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 I have a lot of I did find a lot of medication you don't get anything for it when you sell it though <laughs> hello fat English welcome, bloke welcome. you're Be welcome here's what I've got. yeah I know you Let's can have that you have. and you can have uh, that well, you don't you don't want to give me any money for it. I just don't want to carry it around anymore. I'm just over it. I'm over it, mate, I tell you. Have it. Yeah, 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 I don't care. Just get get out of here. And then um I'm also gonna sell you this. Yeah, don't want that either. And um 
I like my short pants, so I'm going to keep those, I'm afraid. My swimming trunks were pretty good fun. Now, do I want to buy anything off you? Here's what I've got. I know. Ooh, all kinds of goodies in here. What do I fancy eating as a little munch? How about, um... Okay, what's Marmite going to eat? Place your bets. Now... Ding! Mulberries. Did you guess right? Excellent. Yummy. I'll pick them up and then I'm just going to eat them. First of all, matey, it's a little bit rude that you were staring at me while I was eating like that. It's just keep your own, keep your eyes on yourself, mate. I know you probably feel bad about being slightly overweight and having that dodgy haircut, but I, look, I'm completely bald, so uh, I, I'm going to go now. I'm you're still freaking me out with your starey, starey face. I'll uh, see you later. Stop looking at me, weirdo. Uh, uh, yeah, right, bye. Make sure to stop. Yeah, 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 whatever. Pedo. Um, fishing, 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 fishing. 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 This is exciting. I haven't... Don't talk to Raven. Hello, Raven. Oh, you've got my hat on. Nice to see you, mate. Where are you? Oh, you fishing bloke. In real life, the last time I went fishing was several years ago. I used to fish a lot as a teenager. Oh, hello. It's freaking me out how you blokes all just keep appearing like this. fresh. You can have me word. Oh, thank you. So I can buy a breathing mask, a tube and a paddle for a little bit of swimming. I'll have one of them. I also want to buy some fishing tackle, mate. Where is it? Fishing. Here we go. Oh, blimey. What do I want? I've got tons of money. So let's spend some. Is there a fishing beginner's pack? I don't see any rods here, do you? Okay, I'm going to want um, uh, some worm fish bait, obviously. I think I'm going to want a treble fish hook pack. Yeah. A small fish hook pack, 500. What are they, euros? Don't know. I think I'll take um, uh, boilies for some carps. Some nylon wire. Do I want some thick, thin, thick? or line 25 so that's the really strong medium so thin is for littles thick or 0 0.5 0 0.2 I think I'm gonna go for the middle line we're gonna go in the middle here thick and uh, some medium and another hook pack because you can never have too few hook packs why does it want paddles all the time? What is it just a choice of colours? I, I think we've got to go with green, haven't we? If we're going to be like a little bit camouflaged. Fishing reel. Now, do we want the... Um, we've got the money for the bestest fanciest, so we'll have the bestest fanciest. Fishing floater pack. Why have we got two? Greens or blues? I'm going to go with the... Uh, if you buy the most expensive, it might be better for you. Line. Uh, I think we almost definitely want bread bait and some cheese bait. Never ever caught a fish on sweet corn, although when I used to fish back in England, everyone used to tell me that sweet corn was the thing to catch. Tench, I believe. I was always a maggots fan. Wow. I think that's me pretty well set up. Am I going to need anything else? Is there some medium sized hooks? Should I buy some? Let's just buy lots of line. We've got the money for everything. You numpty. And some boilies, why not? And uh, sardine. I started off being so, like, decisive. Yes, I'll have one of that. Now I'm just like, yeah, buy everything. Bleak fish bait? Oh, oh, I see. No, I don't see. Okay. 
I'd like to buy all of that, please. Well, wow, thank you. And then I guess I just pick it all up. I must admit, I don't like how when you buy it, it leaves it on the counter. It relies on you to go and get it. Is the fishing rod in the holster? <laughs> Excellently stupid. I suppose I should buy. That is fresh. You can have me word. Oh well, great. Thanks for that. I'll tell you what I am going to buy. Let me let me do this. I'm going to buy another fishing rod. Because just in case, uh, uh, a yeah, blue one. Everyone wants two fishing rods, don't they? There we go. All right, mate. Well, thanks for having a little chat. Good you, trade, didn't it? It was a good trade. Yeah, I think so. I think all your stuff's a little bit overpriced. But um, I know you probably got a lot of stuff to maintain at such a gorgeous crow. Uh, Raven, sorry. Sorry, Raven. And, uh, yeah, it was nice talking to you. Don't really know how I'm going to do any of this stuff. But I'll, I'll, uh, I'll come back and see you another time with some tales of giant fish that I've caught. Right. Look at that. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Got all my stuff on. Look, let's try, try go and test the diving mask just to see how good it is. I mean, I've still I've still got my swimming trunks on, so it'd be rude not to. Let's go. Woohoo! Oh no, you kept your socks on. Alright, seems pretty obvious. <gasps> oh, hello. Oh, it's much better with the breathing mask thing. Oh, I like that. Big tuners. Big tuner. I've got a watch called the Big Tuner. That's something else I've probably never ever mentioned in any of my waffles. I'm a little bit of a horologist. a number of watches. My favourite being my uh I look it up. Oh yeah good. I have a Rolex, a Roly Submariner that was my present to myself on my thirtieth birthday. I paid um I think it was two and a half grand for it, pre owned and uh, it's worth way more now. At least doubled in price over the last 20 years. And I wear that quite often. Right now I'm wearing a, a Victorinox Swiss Army, I think it's called. It looks like a Submariner, but it's a slimmer profile. Now, how, how do I take this mask off? What's going on here? I'll just unequip it. Ching. Well, let's get out of this zone and head back to the house to do some fishing. I think that's the plan for the day. My most recent decent watch purchase was um, a relative newbie on the watch scene company called William Wood and they make a, a, a Submariner style dive watch
but it's it's 40 mil, uh, a little bit more vintage looking. It's got like a domed quartz, bloody blah, blah lens, whatever they call it. And um, I bought a brass one. And the company's William Wood. It's named after the founder, the founder's grandfather, William Wood, who was a fireman, right? So part of the one of the gimmicks about this rather neat looking watch is that every watch has a little tiny fireman's um, helmet insignia, that's their logo. And it's made from the actual brass of the real William Woods fire helmet, or so they say. But uh, yeah, I like that. Oh, and the strap. I'm tempted to go fishing there, but I want to do it in the river near my house, so I'm going to... Um, yeah, and the straps on these watches, Google them, William Wood watches. The straps are made from recycled fireman hose. And they, um, they're they like plastic and some sort of cottony element things. So yeah, the straps are made from fireman hoses. And where am I going? The hell am I going? Where I'm going is the wrong way. And on the crown of the watch and on the face is a little bit of the brass from a fireman's helmet. And every watch purchase you make, they put some money towards a fireman foundation charity. Isn't that great? So yeah, I really like the watch. So uh, I was I wore that all the time um, for ages with my daily wear. And then last Christmas, my uh, Mrs. Marmite, my girlfriend or partner. got me a stainless steel one with a green face. It's the same watch, different colour, different material. And I wear that a lot as well. And then I have some other watches. No like big expensive brands, they're just all things that I really like to wear. I've got an older Omega that I like to wear. I've got... what else have I got knocking around in there? I've got a Swatch watch from years ago. got the Samsung smartwatch which I thought I'd really like you know checking your heartbeat and biometrics and all that guff but it ended up just thoroughly annoying me I'm just heading north it's a long drive back to my base but on that note it is a long drive so let's end here this languishing tale of angling and horology and uh, come back next time to see if I make it there with all this precious fishing gear intact